now we are going to discuss one of the important lesson from the 8th class social studies that is minerals and mining what is meant by a mineral and what is mining we are going to discuss in this class the first of all what is a definition for a mineral here given a exact definition to the mineral what is that almost anything which we obtain naturally from under the earth is a mineral what is the definition for the mineral almost anything which we obtain naturally from under the earth is a mineral for example mineral oils mineral water okay and the minerals so these are the the different types are there and which we live, which we living in the society we can see the number of minerals in daily life for example if you live in a home you can observe the some minerals what are they here which we obtain the and which we get and which we see in our home they are called as a here the minerals in houses most of these materials actually that we get from the earth what are they mud some houses you know that they made with mud and sand lime kadapa stones or granites you can see all these in your home these are called as a the minerals which we obtain the naturally from the land or the earth called as a minerals which we are using in our home at the same time if you go around outside you can see the some minerals which is near to home or in your home what are they iron copper lead chrome aluminium these are also minerals you can see in your home and as a Uh, near to your home or the surrounding to your home you can see the some minerals and we are using the some minerals in our daily life what are they we use fuels like petrol diesel kerosene and these two are extracted from mineral oils called crude petroleum here the what is meant by crude petroleum which is obtained naturally from the ground and it is in the form of a uh, curd like a curd in the black color means in the thin form and they are extracting the oil like petrol diesel kerosene from the crude oil only and it called here as a crude petroleum so these are the which we discussed here the three types of the minerals which we are using in our daily life they are called as a minerals i am repeating here which we are using in our home and which we uh, surrounding to our home and which we are using in our daily life so these are three different types of the minerals and based on these types we we divided into the three uh, two categories of the minerals and actually these were divided by and uh, on the basis of availability and the basis of their nature divided by the scientist into the two categories as a renewable and the non renewable resources they divided into the the two categories as the renewable resources non renewable resources renewable means regenerate non renewable means we can't get back okay if we extracted one sign if we exacted exhausted from our society we can't get back so these are called as a non renewable resources here definition for the renewable resources write a definition for the renewable and the non renewable resources then i i written here to you a renewable resources renewable resources are those resources which can be regenerated like wood for example we deforestated or we cutting down a, a tree and after cutting down a tree if we plant a sapling after some years the same quantity of the wood we can get and the same features we can get so it is an example for the renewable resources i am repeating the definition here renewable resources are those resources which can be regenerated like wood they are renewable resources and non renewable resources means same definition renewable resources are those resources which cannot be regenerated which can't be regenerated example for example in those days we have the uh what are the gold resources are there in the coal mines okay kolar fields we have the gold mines is it available now no it exhausted it had been exhausted due to that there is no chance to get back so these are called here as a non renewable 
resources understood here the renewable resources and non renewable resources which we can get back they are called as a renewable which can't get back they are called as a non renewable resources give example for the uh, renewable resources wood water okay and the non renewable resources gold silver and the coal are the some of the example for the non renewable resources and if we comes to the the mineral resources of telangana and andhra pradesh what we have the minerals in our states okay what are they the first of all we have to see the the mineral resources of telangana the coal iron ore limestone dolomite manganese quartz feldspar clay varieties uranium black and color granites you have a question write the minerals of telangana me are the explain the minerals of telangana means these are the minerals available in our region and from the underground while extracting the the some places by the geologists they found the some minerals in our telangana as well as it is belongs to the different states for example if you see the coal mines it belongs to karimnagar godavari kani mancherial and the some other godavari delta and godavari regions we can find these resources like this we have the uh, iron resources plenty of iron resources in the telangana based on their quality they divided into the three types of the iron ores the first one is the first uh, fine quality of the iron ore deposits in the bayaram reserve forest where it is bayaram reserve forest we have the fine quality of the iron ore deposits and the next category float iron deposits in mahbubaba district float iron deposits are there in the mahbubnagar district low grade iron low grade iron deposits in peddapalli manchirial districts i am repeating here a uh, good uh, quality of the iron ore deposits in bayaram reserve forest and the float iron deposits in the mahbubaba district and low grade iron deposits in the peddapalli and manchirial and as well as they are using the some manganese and the some varieties are the some are using in the cement industries these cement industries are mostly located in the nalgonda vikarabad peddapalli and manchirial so where the mineral availability is there for the industries they are giving the priority to establish the industries in those areas due to that we can see the number of industries in these Uh, areas what are the cement industries are there in the nalgonda vikarabad peddapalli and manchirial uh, next tan brown granite tan brown means which is used to floor the uh, uh, to do the flooring in our regions they are called as a tan brown granite it is famous for karimnagar okay karimnagar is famous in the tan brown granite and mostly uh, most of the industries are located in the karimnagar district and which is related to the tan brown and they are, they are making the tan brown granite and they are exporting to the china and other south eastern uh, south eastern the uh, south uh, south east asian countries from our india and as well as one more type of limestone that is the tandoor uh, tandoor uh, blue limestone it is mostly famous uh, in which district means vikarabad okay it is available in uh, this place as well as along with that which is most important factor to produce electricity that is uranium uranium availability 11 million tons in the lambapur pulicherla namapuram and ellapuram in the nalgonda district and nalgonda district is famous for the uranium deposits and here the which is related to the uranium they were established the industries in our region and these are the industries belongs to the the telangana one more also located in our telangana sccl singareni coal calories limited singareni coal calories limited it is also one of the important and actually the coal mines are one and only place in the south india they are the regions of the krishna godavari delta and they are extracting the coal and they are producing the electricity and they are supplying to the different parts of the country uh, in our india and as well as if we comes to the mineral resources to the andhra pradesh andhra pradesh also famous for these minerals what are they the coal iron ore limestone 
and dolomite manganese quartz and the different types of the minerals also uh, famous in andhra pradesh as well as what are they in great potential for the mineral oil and gas resources also there because it is near to the the coastal regions and near to the ocean shore so it is availability to get the different types of the minerals and the karnataka and andhra pradesh border also it is famous for iron ores and they are extracting the iron from here and they are exporting to the some southeast asian countries and it is uh, mostly it is famous for the diamonds also karnur anantapur and the some other districts also famous for diamonds in the andhra pradesh and asbestos varieties mica feldspar these are available in the andhra pradesh so these are the important minerals of telangana and andhra pradesh we discussed in this to in this session uh, what is meant by a mineral means we given the definition for the mineral i am repeating here almost anything which we obtain naturally it is not called as artificially naturally from under the earth is a mineral and minerals are divided into the two categories renewable resources non renewable resources which we can regenerate they are called as a uh, renewable resources which can't regenerate they are called as a non renewable resources example for the renewable resource wood water and the non renewable resources means these are all non renewable resources only okay which we available naturally like iron uh, gold silver diamonds and as well as the, uh, the different types of the minerals which can't available once exhausted from our society so these are the example for the non renewable resources and the one more one countries or the one states development depends upon the natural minerals so do, uh, depends upon the natural minerals we can estimate the growth of a, a state or the country in the next session we can discuss the uh, other topics